Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla Server. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. What are we here? What are we doing? Where are we? This is the slime farm that Kondrick put together over here in the perimeter. Big thanks to Kondrick for that. He did that on stream. And if you did not catch that, mixer.com slash Kondrick. Go check him out. Link in the description box below. But enough about that. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap a design around this thing. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're over here at the slime farm. Let's see if I can go by without picking up any slime balls. And if we go over here, you can see how this thing works. The slimes just spawn on, it's like a couple of different layers, I think. Let's see, one, two, three, maybe three layers total. And then they all come over to this side and they get broken down by some magma blocks. And then eventually down into the smallest amount. Let's see if any pop through. And then all the slime balls stay in item form, which is really cool. It's a great design. They stay in item form all the way into the item elevator. And they go up into the main storage area up in there, which is really really cool so Kondrick did a, a good job on this so big thanks to him for that and it's kind of noisy so i don't want to hang out but so much and i've already picked up some slime balls i don't want that go go into the storage okay good so what we need to do i and i the reason i haven't been over here to, to take care of this is because i wasn't sure whether i would leave it like this just to say hey thanks Kondrick for for doing this and then kind of showing showing his handiwork we are going to leave part of it. We're going to leave the overall design here, but we're going to wrap something that looks kind of like our our main design over here. A lot of white concrete and white glass. So we're going to do that over here. So what we need to do is we've got a few, um, what's the word? Design considerations in mind. Let's bring up the chunk border, shall we? And I think that's F3G. Yes, it is. Yes, indeed. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that our uh, do I, I don't have any blocks. I don't have any blocks. Why in the world? No, do I not have any blocks? Let's see. Come over here and we'll go like this. And we'll take these guys down. And of course, this is a little bit problematic, but that should be fine. Okay. So we shouldn't get any more spawning over here while we are taking a look at this. And the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you the design considerations that we've got. All right, so this is a min-maxed, uh, mini-maxed slime farm. So what Kondrick has done is he's only done enough spawning pads that go up to this sub-chunk right here, this blue line right here, and that goes into the second sub-chunk. So the spawning attempts are only going to stay here in this uh, this sub chunk right here. And if you're not if you're not you know kind of on the up and up about what what sub chunks are and all that, I'll see if I can find a video for you for that. But anyway, it, it, this is a way of maximizing the number of spawns we can get here on these platforms. And so we don't need a slime farm that goes all the way up to level 40 or whatever. We're going to leave it right here. So that means here in this chunk. Uh, this chunk and this chunk we need to make sure that we don't put any solid blocks above this blue line now we can go outside the chunk so out here we should be fine to put some solid blocks above that blue line and uh, all around it but not over this and glass does not count which means that we should be able to put a little roof over top of it no problem so um, that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go grab some some uh what's the word some materials and hopefully i can get out of here yeah yep okay and then we will take off the those and uh, and yeah so i'm gonna go off camera grab some materials and set out the foundation and i'll bring you back and we'll get started building this thing back in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen we're back i have set up the outline of what I want for the foundation here. I've already cleared it with Kondrick. He says, you know, do, do what you feel is best, but he's done a great job here. We're going to leave this farm intact. Just wrap a little something around it. 
And uh, yeah, so we've got round corners, round towers on each each corner, rather. And then we're going to go with just, a, you know, straight, straight lines right there in the middle. And along the corners, we're going to make sure that we add maybe... Uh, uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out whether we should go here and do a column. And then go like this. And then maybe right here do a column that doesn't seem like enough of a column so maybe maybe we'll drop down this thing and you know we're kind of figuring this out as we go and go like that and then maybe right here it's not much of a column or not much of a, a set of glass right there but it does give a little bit of strength or looking uh, kind of kind of like strength for for this thing and we'll go like that and go around what I want to do is I want to make sure that here on these uh, these outer edges uh, this curve right here we've got a pretty good a pretty good concept of the pillar holding this thing up so I think that's what we're gonna go with right there it matches oh uh, what um matches the the ink farm over there so i think that's what we're going to do we'll we'll go with that and see how we like it once we go all the way around but while we're doing this we're going to have a little chat shall we it's been a while since well uh, has it been a while i don't know i don't know if it has been a while let me make sure i get this correct we're going to do a column right here is that right i don't know I think it's going to be a little weird over here on the edges, so we'll make sure on the straight on on the straight um, straightaways we'll have a spot, but over here on the corners it's going to be kind of strange. But I think that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so uh, let's just have a little chat about what's been going on. Hopefully, your Thanksgiving went well. Mine mine went fairly well. You know, Thanksgiving Day we spent with. Just hanging out with my parents and my sister. My brother is not over here. He is over in Japan. Uh, he is he was serving in the military over there, but now he is no longer in the military. He's gone end of active service there. And uh, but he has married a Japanese lady, and uh, so he's living over there. So we were not able to see him, but uh, you know that's cool. We get to see him uh, maybe every other year or so. And my parents go see him more often. I have not been over to Japan. I probably need to do that. But it is quite, quite a bit of effort to get uh, two small, well, they're not small children anymore, but two children on international travel. We have to work on passports and all that. Anyway, it's, anyway, I'm, I won't go into it, but uh, yeah, it is not, um, not in the cards right now, but, but we shall see for the future. Uh, and see what that holds but anyway so we had a good time just hanging out and uh you know taking a look at various blessings over the past year and uh, giving appropriate thanks uh to to those that um or to him whom we we do give thanks but uh but uh but yeah so thanksgiving doesn't mean much if you don't have someone to be thankful to. You can be thankful for a lot of stuff, but thanks usually means that uh, you're thankful to someone as well. So I'm just going to leave that there. And um, then the next day, uh, we got, got word from my in-laws that the nursing home had called them and let them know that my wife's grandmother was not doing so well. And in fact, it looked like the time was nigh upon us for her to leave us and sure enough late Friday afternoon uh, she did in fact leave us and uh, so it was it was bittersweet um, we thought a couple of Thanksgivings ago that we had lost her but um, but uh, but yeah anyway it, it did not happen then but it's been a slow decline ever since and so uh, we said goodbye to my wife's grandmother on Friday um, Friday afternoon and uh, a lot of planning and stuff around that over the weekend but 
But uh, yesterday, as I'm recording this, yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was the funeral. And um, yeah, so um, uh, the family asked me to be a pallbearer. And so that was a, um, you know, it's a, it's a bittersweet honor. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be of service to my family in that regard, even though it's not my biological family. But, you know, I have I've known this family for over 10 years and known my wife's grandmother for uh, for that long. Met her actually the first weekend that I came for a visit to uh, to meet the family. And so uh, it's been, you know, been a, you know, I've known her for quite some time. And so it, uh, you know, struck me, uh, not certainly not as much as the rest of the family, but still, you know, it's, it's hard to say goodbye sometimes. So it did make me think about various things and so i'm going to present to you it's one of the reasons why i'm chatting with you about this while we're going through and doing this rather than going into a time lapse uh, a couple of reasons why one um, with all of that and with thanksgiving i have not had time to put into this episode quite like i would uh, would want to and that you might expect but uh, it is what it is and so here we go we're going to do a little bit of this and have a little chat and I'll go off camera and finish this up and bring you back once it's all done. But, uh, but yeah, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to challenge you. Okay. So, uh, it, you know, that, that whole concept of, uh, of funerals, it really makes you think, or it makes me think, and, and maybe it makes you, if you've had the, uh, misfortune of having to go through that recently, uh, maybe, you've had the misfortune of having to go through that and and maybe it's made you think and and hopefully it has and and what i want to do is i want to challenge you to think at this moment uh, about about the funeral about funerals and and uh, when you get to that point you're you're really wondering uh, what am i doing what is my life about and and that's the thing we're not guaranteed tomorrow i'm not guaranteed my next minute I'm not even guaranteed getting this video out to you. And and uh, that that really makes me happen to think about how I'm spending my life. And so I want to challenge you to think about how you're spending your life. If, if you're not spending your life in a manner uh, that you would want to be remembered by, um, well, are you doing what you what you would want to be remembered by? And that, I don't know, that doesn't sound quite as quite as good as it sounded when I was thinking about what to talk about today. But, um, but yeah, what I want to do is, or what I want to, hey, let's, let's see if we can figure out how to say this a little more profoundly. Uh, if you, if you don't want to be remembered, if you're doing something right now and you don't want to be remembered by that, well, is it really something you should be doing? Is it something you should be spending your life on? Uh, and if not, I would challenge you stop doing it. Okay. Or, or, or change it. If, if you're not, uh, if you're not spending your life in a manner that, uh, you would want to be remembered by stop spending your life like that. And, and, and really that's, that's kind of the challenge that I have for you. It's one of the things that here on this channel, we don't tend to talk so much about this. I tend to just play Minecraft and share these builds with you. I don't tend to get into the nitty and gritty of life so much, but you know, funerals have a way of of making you think about what's important. And uh, one of the things that was clear during the time of remembrance at the funeral was that family was very important to uh, my my grandmother-in-law, if you will. Uh, she loved her family. It was clear she would. Uh, she sacrificed a lot throughout her life for her family, and she did it without uh without complaining um and yeah, i mean she she certainly had things to complain about but uh sacrificing for her family was not something she complained about she just did it that was her uh was her her thing she uh she just did it and and i was the recipient of some of that um you know she she sacrificed a lot she helped out with uh, our wedding and uh, you know she she did a lot for all of her family members uh, you know, sons, daughter, or son, daughters, and and grandchildren uh, alike, and and yeah. So, uh, if 
if that's if that's you, if you love your family, are are you spending time with them? Are you telling them that you love them? Are you sharing with them what you would want to share with them? Uh, if you, I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe maybe it's something else. Are you are you giving to charities that you uh, are are passionate about? Are you spending your time towards those? Uh, if not, um, I would challenge you to go go figure out how to. How to give to that, how to give to causes that uh, you are passionate about. So anyway, if you're not living your life, how you would want to be remembered, well, what do you need to change to make it so that you can be remembered for that? And I would challenge you to uh, go make the changes necessary. So that's, uh, that's going to be kind of it for the thought of the day or thought of the episode we don't get into that too much again because i kind of just get in here and and build stuff and we don't tend to get too serious i mean i i am kind of a serious builder and people have called me out on that it's like, come on vary the intonation a bit but that's just how i do it and if i try to fake any other sort of i don't know sort of uh, affect i it's it's just hard for me but uh but yeah anyway uh, we, we don't tend to get too serious, but on occasion, we'll, we'll, we'll delve into serious matters. But uh, for now, I am going to get to finishing this out. You can kind of see the design coming together. We're matching what we've got set up everywhere else around here like that. Yep. And we brought back the glass panes. We couldn't do that in the chorus fruit farm. No. So the course, no, we couldn't do it over there. We had to use regular glass because uh, otherwise the sugar cane would have fallen on the concrete. And yeah, that would have been so good. Anyway, we're going to continue this all the way around and I will bring you back once we are closing off the roof. So see you in just a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and I've got the walls done and I've got the top. Well, I don't know if I'm done with this. I, I, I try to leave it such that uh, you're not able to see uh, these sea lanterns from the top. Uh, so I'm thinking of maybe going up one more all, of white concrete all the way around. But I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, let's uh, let's bring up. F4 oh, oh, and a skip and a jump and all that fun stuff. We'll throw that there. And then here, I guess we still need to put one there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll do that and figure out where we need to go from here. Yep. Yep. And yep. There we go. Okay. So we got plenty of sea lanterns. Thanks to Jan's guardian farm, but, uh, but yeah, what I've done here is I've got white glass right here. And then I was going to cover in over the top, but that's a lot of stuff. And I happened to not build this high enough and I did not want to redo it. And it doesn't really matter anyway. And I want to make sure that Kondrick doesn't worry about spawn rates with stuff over top of the main chunks. And I don't think it's going to be a problem, but we'll just reduce the, the questions there for that. So. I'm just going to come around here and throw in some sea lanterns to provide a little bit of light up here on the top so we don't get any extra mob spawns up here. And we should be good to go. All right, so now we, what we do is we find all the ones with fours and we drop sea lanterns there. How many How many in was that from the corner? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then we dropped one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, not there. Right, right there. Okay, and so then we just have to throw one right there. Excellent. So that should be simple enough. And then we'll throw one here at the five. Yep. And they should be centered pretty well all the way down. So find the four and then come down here find this four and then drop one on the seven. Excellent. So we've almost got this done. Figured I'd bring you in for this part of it. And there we go. So let's maybe get rid of this. Have, okay, have the thing jump. And then we'll step back, take a look. 
and sunlight is almost uh, gone from us. Let's see. Let's do this. We're going to have plenty of slime balls coming in here, but, but yeah, there we go. Okay. That's not too shabby. All right. So I also need to get rid of these extra stair steps over here because I needed some way to get up and over like so. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, I didn't want to pick up any of the slime balls though. So we'll just throw those into, into the water stream a little bit later. But let's go up maybe up here and take a look from the top our, our witch farm Taurus here. Okay. Well, that looks pretty cool. I like that. So let me know what you think. I, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Let's, and let's maybe take, take a step. Okay. Over here. Of course, sunlight is really getting away from us. So what we need to do is, oh, we should be fine. We should be fine actually, because we've got just bedrock down here. So I will admit, it looks a little odd with a really tall foundation. So I'm not too keen on that. Maybe, maybe that gives us enough justification to go up one higher. But overall, I think the corners turned out really well. Maybe let's throw, throw the bed down and use our, our lovely commands over here. Okay, thank you, T.O., for putting that together. And... And yeah, we'll, we'll maybe do this. I'll probably go into the replay mod recording afterwards and take care of our, our uh, what's, the, what's the word, thumbnail. But this isn't too shabby. Yeah, so we'll do this and F2 and we'll bring that back. Okay, well that's not too bad. And I think maybe we'll do one more view from inside the witch farm, because that's really how people are going to be seeing it. All right, and we just saw some gunpowder coming up from the witch farm itself. So that thing's still going, even with a slime farm in there taking, taking down some of the mob cap. We're not doing too badly with drops, and we're not really using them all that much here on the server. A lot of people have stopped playing and uh, yeah, so things are kind of wrapping up in general. So I'm trying to get some stuff finished and we'll see how things go. But uh, you, I don't know if you saw it. Um, if you saw Minecon Earth, I meant to talk about this while we were doing the wall. But if you saw Minecon Earth, we've got some fun updates coming in the ocean. And so that means uh, we're starting to talk, talk reset. So we'll see when that happens. It's going to be down the road a bit, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get some stuff finished and you can see it. You can kind of feel, I don't know, maybe you feel the, the, the burn for me to get some projects finished. If you've got any ideas for projects that we need to get to, do let me know. I'd love to hear what you think we should get done. But I like that. Uh, I like that covering around the slime farm. And so hopefully Kondrick does too. And if you want to go check out Kondrick, he's, he's going to be working on another farm over there that I'll probably need to come back in and do something like this on, but who knows? Maybe he'll take care of it. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll work this thing, this stuff out, but beam.pro slash Condrick. That's going to be it for me for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing. So you're up to date with everything going on the channel and uh, for when I inevitably have things come up, do follow me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great, and that way you are up to date with everything going on, uh, not just here on YouTube, but also uh, IRL. In case I miss a YouTube video uh, one week, things have been kind of busy. Switched jobs, had Thanksgiving, had a funeral, uh, lots of stuff, lots of life going on lately, and maybe you do too. Share that with me in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.